listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 2024. Today is the feast day of St. Isidore of Seville. But he would very much like to tell me, tell you that today is also a solemnity. We are continuing to celebrate Easter. Yip, yip, yay. I hope that you are having fun and celebrating with Jesus Christ. All week we have been talking about important Easter symbols and how they point to Jesus. We've talked about Easter eggs, lilies, new clothes, and bonnets. And today we have a very obvious symbol for Easter and Jesus, and that is the victorious lamb. I'm going to talk about what that means, but in just a minute. So let's today pray our April prayer, God alone suffices. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I offer you, Lord, my thoughts to be fixed on you, my words to have you for their theme, my actions to reflect my love for you, my sufferings to be endured for your greater glory. I want to do what you ask of me in the way you ask for as long as you ask, because you ask it. I pray, Lord, that you enlighten my mind, inflame my will, purify my heart, and sanctify my soul. Amen. So I know that you're just hearing my voice, and perhaps when I say the symbol of the victorious lamb, you're not quite sure what I'm talking about. Now, maybe you can find one, but picture this. It's a lamb. And in its front leg, it has its front leg wrapped around a flag that is flying out behind it. And it is standing with its head held high in a pose of victory. Very often in these symbols, the lamb is also wounded and bleeding, but still standing victorious. Now, this is an important and ancient symbol for Easter because Jesus is the Lamb of God. These are the words that his cousin, St. John the Baptist, says when Jesus comes for baptism. He points and says, this is the Lamb of God. And it is for that reason that Andrew and the other disciples leave St. John the Baptist and go to follow Jesus because they understood what that meant. They understood that they meant this is the Messiah. This is the one that you have been waiting for. And so when we symbolize Jesus at Easter through the victorious lamb, alive, although wounded, and carrying the banner of our salvation, we are proclaiming that he is the Messiah. And also this harkens back to a very important Old Testament story. You probably know what I'm talking about. But at the Passover, just before Moses led the Israel Israelites out of Egypt, God directed them to sacrifice an unblemished lamb and to spread the blood of that lamb over their doorpost. This way, when the angel of death passed through Egypt, killing the firstborn of every house, from Pharaoh to the slaves to even the animals— but when this angel of death came, he would pass over the houses that were marked with the blood of the lamb. Now, this was an important symbol of God's protection and love and devotion to this group of people. But Jesus came and fulfilled this because not only it are our doors marked, but Jesus's own blood has claimed us. When we stand before God in final judgment, although we are sinners and we have failed and we have turned against him, we will say, I am covered in the blood of the lamb. He has claimed me that, that judgment should pass over me because what Jesus has done. 
And so that is why we celebrate this lamb. Now, I know that sometimes at Easter, we just want to talk about the good stories, Jesus rising from the dead. Why are we still talking about Jesus on the cross? And it's because the resurrection doesn't make any sense without the crucifixion. That is why Jesus, after he rose from the dead, is still carrying the wounds of the cross. He shows those to his disciples. He allows Thomas to put his hand in his side and in the nail marks on his hands and his feet. Because yes, Jesus has risen from the dead, but he paid the price for our sins on the cross. And it was only through the cross that we are saved and that we can hope to rise from the dead with Jesus Christ. So Sprouts, I actually have two challenges for you today. I want you to search around and try to find an image of a victorious lamb. If you want to look in one particular place, my younger sister is a fully professed religious sister. They are the Little Sisters of the Lamb. You can go to their website, the Community of the Lamb, and their little icon, the the central picture of their community is a victorious lamb. And their motto, which is usually inscribed around it, is wounded, I shall never cease to love. So they use the symbol all the time, not just in Easter, but it's an important thing to reflect on during this season. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Who's ready to party? We are hosting an Easter celebration where we will be praying and playing a fun Easter game for real prizes inside the clubhouse this Friday afternoon, April 5th. We invite all Clubhouse members, of course, to be there with bells on. But if you aren't a member of the Clubhouse yet, this is a great time to join. We have lots of fun, wonderful things planned for the Easter season. And we would just love to see you at our next event. To find the link to sign up or to get more information, just check the notes for this podcast episode. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.